My name is Joe DeFranzo. Uh, I got read at Levittown Parkway Firehouse uh, Station number four. Any ghosts in here? Hey, Teresa. The guys down at the firehouse are forever teasing my dad to begin with. Woman coming through. So I was a little concerned when my dad wanted me to go down there because I'm like, Dad, this is like one more thing that can add to the teasing list over here. That thing this, flushes this automatically and there's nobody there. But it really turned out to be amazing because a lot of those guys didn't even realize what Joe was going through. Uh, Joey, the maintenance guy, he's bending down doing something. He says he sees a shadow, he turns around and there's nobody there. Joey! Well, the day that I got the reading, I was working for the fire district. I'm a house maintainer, cleaning. You are seeing and feeling and hearing stuff too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. When I'm in the firehouse, cleaning the firehouse, like out of the corner of my eye, I'll see a shadow. I would turn and there's no one there. Or I'll hear a bump, a door shut, and there's no one in the firehouse but me. And then the next thing I know, I was being read and it's like, Okay, here we go. And my next thing I know, my boss was trying to catch me from hitting the floor because Teresa was right on key with a couple of things that she came out with. I was just told that you lost your mother and your father. Right. Because there's a mother and father energy stepping forward. Okay. Uh, my parents uh, were very uh, kind, caring people. My father was a World War II vet. He was an artist. And my mother, she was uh, outspoken caring person and help anybody out. First, they labored my breathing, which means um, heart, lungs, or chest, where I couldn't take a deep breath. And that could have been my mom. When Teresa started talking about my mom and when she came out with the difficulty of, of it just, you know, it just, it blew me away. Were you just looking at pictures of your dad or something about some type of war book? A war book, I, I was on the phone, I was looking. My father gave me a book. It's called Symphony in B Flank. His outfit was highly decorated. They wrote a book from the time they were formed to the time they were disbanded in the war. My father was a staff artist. He, he did all the drawings, he did the cover. A lot of times we don't realize the depth of these messages. Like by me just mentioning, oh, a military book to Joe and then to find out that his dad actually did the illustrations for a military book that he was just looking at. Amazing. And who passed from the head or the brain? My uh, sister. Sister? Yeah. And do you remember your sister sick? Oh yeah. That really hit a nerve. It hit a spot. My sister Mary, she was five years older than me. She ended up passing away from cancer. She says she knows how you sat with her and that you would always speak to her. Could she not respond to you? Mm. She wants you to know that she knew that you were there and how you dedicated so much of your time and how you loved her. I ended up spending 10 days down in Texas with her. A lot of times my sister was high on morphine because the pain was so great. And when if I would get up and let go of her hand, then she would jump up and you can't leave. So I had to sit down again with her and you know, I was very happy to spend the time with her, and I'm glad I did. In Joe's case, he needed to hear from his parents before he could even start to heal from the loss of his sister. The people who passed on, they're all right. They're telling me to move on, stop worrying about them. It was nice to see you. Sure. <laughs> Maybe you should get back to work. I didn't want Thank to interrupt you. anything. Good luck, Joe. Thank you. Told my boss, I go, I'm done for the day of work. I couldn't work. My hands were shaking so bad. I was just drained. I, I, I was like, wow. Well, I've heard from my dad on how different Joe is and how much happier he is. Being thrown in the limelight, yes, it is a lot. Probably after this interview, when it does air, I probably will get my horns broken by a lot of people, but you want to know something? It's all good. If someone else can get satisfaction, so be it. It helps. It makes me feel good that the people who loved me when I was growing up to even to this day, 
uh, that they're still out there watching over me. It makes me feel good.